your scrambled eye on the ground. And in Germany, at least people care a little bit. I mean, I've been hit by cars twice on my bike in Germany, so. Uh. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about things that shock Americans in Germany. But before I start this video, I just wanted to give a big, huge thank you to everyone that gave me, you know, a kind comment, message, or email regarding my last video. I was really sad and emotional. I was an emotional basket case. I'm okay now, like I said, I will be fine and I'm currently at the point where I'm looking at the light at the end of the tunnel that I'm in I just was overwhelmed by the kindness that you guys showed me I was not expecting it and I'm forever grateful and sometimes I forget just how kind you guys are so yeah thank you so much um, 1,000 times over I really appreciate it and yeah moving forward trying to make this intro very quick don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really helps me and I'd greatly appreciate it it's free it really helps me you guys and it's free did I mention it's free so yeah the first one you guys that shocks Americans when they come to Germany this is really a general I think anybody that comes to Germany the taxis are Mercedes Jorge. No, I'm just kidding. I'm in such a funny mood right now. But yeah, seriously, when I got off the airport for the first time in Munich, I stepped out and I saw like a 50, no, it was like 10 taxis waiting outside for people at the airport. And I thought that there was like a Royal Highness or someone coming out of the airport. Cause I'm like, who is coming with this 10 Mercedes caravan? Who? Who's in this airport? And then lo and behold, someone crushed my dreams and to my dismay, those are what taxis look like. And so dependent on your region as well, that usually dictates what type of car manufacturer or brand you will get regarding taxis. I know in Stuttgart, it's gonna be a little bit more Mercedes. In Munich, there are some BMWs. I know that, where else is there? Ingolstadt, there's Audi, VW. I mean, there's a whole bunch of VWs up in Wolfsburg. So just depending on your region and where you're at in Germany is really going to dictate what type of taxi you get But I feel like Mercedes is the general taxi car now in Munich I've had the privilege I guess of being in a taxi that is Tesla that is Maserati that is Jaguar It's always an array of different types of taxi and you can really have almost anything that's there But usually 90% of the time it's been Mercedes another shocking point is going to be the no helmets in Germany and there is no law or anything that's mandating or making helmets mandatory in Germany I don't think and in the United States it's generally the same but a lot of people still do wear helmets I do have to say that in Germany there are a lot of people that wear helmets but um, not that much in the United States I think the difference is that people here will run you over drag you on the tarmac, on the concrete, not stop, and basically you're told. You're a scrambled eye on the ground. And in Germany, at least people care a little bit. I mean, I've been hit by cars twice on my bike in Germany, so uh, do I think that they're the best drivers when it comes to bicycle or cyclists? Sometimes yes and sometimes no, but I do feel like Germans are a little bit more responsible when it comes to driving, so yeah. Awesome. But I think an interesting sub point for the helmet point is that in the United States, dependent on where you're at, especially Florida when it comes to motorcycles, there I don't think is a law that requires you to wear a helmet on a motorcycle. Mike was honestly shocked when he saw people on motorcycles in the United States constantly without helmets on. The next one is going to be another taxi video and it's going to be that taxis are very clean. So when you're comparing it to the United States, I've been in taxis in New York, I've been in taxis in California, I've been in taxis in Chicago. I've been in taxis in all over the United States and they are a hot mess sometimes. I remember I got bamboozled in New York and I thought that these people were being nice and giving me this nice SUV um, <laughs> taxi from the airport to New York City and it came to be like a couple hundred bucks to drive. <laughs> 
from the airport to the city in a nice taxi. <gasps> Y'all, <laughs> uh, worst experience of my life, but still whatever we learn from our mistakes. But yeah, usually the taxis are very dirty in the United States. There will usually be rips in the seat. It can sometimes smell as smoke. And then some people put a protective plastic liner on the seat so then it's really uncomfortable to sit on them. And then you know when people spill stuff and it hasn't really been cleaned properly so then you have this weird film on it and it just feels dirty. That's usually been my experience with taxis in the United States. And in Germany that hasn't been the case and I also believe that there's a number on the taxi and if it's really dirty and they drive really crazy you can report them. I don't know if it goes to the police or the agency they are working with and they can get in trouble. I don't know if they lose their job or after three strikes you're out or what it may be but I do know that there are numbers and that you can report them. Also if they're trying to steal money from you as well. The next one is going to be seat reservations. This was a very interesting point for me because coming from the United States, seat reservations for us or coming early to the movie theater to reserve your seats means something totally different in the United States than it does in Germany. In the United States, that means that you go early to the movie theater. Some people go 30 minutes and if it's a really good movie, I remember I used to wait like for the Harry Potter movies one hour before to get a good seat. And then you go in uh, you can sometimes buy your popcorn, you buy your tickets, and whenever they officially open the doors for the movie theater, um, you're allowed to go in and wait and basically just have a seat. So in Germany, when you say that, you, it means that you go to reserve a seat at the kiosk or at the cashier or the customer service representative at the movie theater. You're going to get a ticket and it's going to have like 36k on it or something who knows what number it's going to be and then you basically have peace of mind and it's a lot I guess more organized of a system I have a little side story for this um, point you guys because it really upset me the one time and I almost fought someone <laughs> in Florida me and my friend Lisa we went to go see a movie and I explicitly reserved the seats for this movie I don't remember what it was but it was a big sort of big deal movie that we saw at the time and I remember I wanted to sit exactly in the middle on a certain row because it was higher up and it was like staggered so I was like I want to sit exactly there because it has the best view I get to the the movie theater get my tickets I go into the movie theater and what do I see a whole family sitting on my row so I go up to them and I'm just looking at them and I'm like oh you guys are in my seat and the lady she's like well my family's sitting here and I'm just like I don't care that your family's sitting here <laughs> like move out of my seat and she's like these aren't your seats and I'm like yes they are my seats I have a ticket and she's just like eating her popcorn looking at me and she's like I have a ticket too I said well what letter do you have on your ticket and she's like what do you mean what letter I'm like because I have 3J I'm pretty sure that you aren't gonna have 3J either and she's like well it doesn't really matter what my ticket says it says well yes it does because that's the ticket I reserved and that's the I reserved because I want to watch this movie exactly at this point point." and then Lisa was just like oh my god we'll just go sit somewhere else. I was so upset you guys, like literally I paid three dollars extra. I was so close to calling the security guard, but I was like, let it slide Haley, be the bigger person, but I was so mad y'all. The next point regarding taxis, yet again you guys, <laughs> this is just gonna be a taxi video. It's very shocking to learn that the taxis in Germany that are cream are actually not cream. I honestly thought that Mercedes or whatever taxi company there was in the world had a collaboration with the um, auto manufacturers and they provided a paint color for them and they painted all of the taxis so then I remember talking to one of the guys and I was like oh it's so nice that you have like a special color for taxis and he's like oh yeah um, they do that because when they sell the car again or when they auction the car again it's nicer to have a black car than a cream car and I was honestly confused what this man meant I was just like what is this, what does he mean a black car the car is cream like are they gonna paint it black then on top of that and then I remember somebody telling me that they actually put a foil on the taxis because they want to create a uniform look and I don't know if it's more appealing or what the reasoning may be behind it but that would be too expensive to paint over it so they just foil them I mean it's not really that shocking but it's just a random fact that you probably didn't know but the next one isn't going to be too shocking but it was very interesting for me seeing it firsthand for the first time and it was the light turning yellow on the ampel at the traffic lights in Germany if you pay attention and you're on the road and you're driving you will see that the light from I guess it's the stopping red light it'll go from red 
to yellow to green. In the United States, we don't have that. We only have when it's going from green, yellow to red. And I think after doing my research about it, the reason they do it is because a lot of cars in Germany are manual. A lot of drivers drive a manual um, stick automobile. And so that extra light from red to yellow to green gives manual drivers, I guess, a little head start and the ability to put the car in go. The last and final point, you guys, which was the most shocking point for me, the most interesting point for me, was that, or is that, the tap water is drinkable. And I miss this so much. I don't know, the water in Germany tastes amazing. My mom said this, my brother said this, everyone that has visited me or I've met in Germany that is an American that comes from especially Florida, tap water is not drinkable here. Especially where I live in Florida, like we will get so many um, notifications and just warnings not to drink the water because something spilled in the water because it's really dirty, whatever it may be. There's a bunch of reasons as to why to not drink the water. But I'm always happy when I'm back in Germany and I can just turn on the faucet and it turns on really really cold fresh crisp water I really miss that and I can't wait to be back in Germany and just get a glass and fill it up with water and drink it oh I'm so excited about that you guys so yeah those are all the points y'all I am going now and that's it thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day I love y'all and bye bye